You're live. Hello, everybody. Come on in, everybody. Gina Young is live. It's Monday. This, this is different for me, y'all. This is different for me. It's Monday, and Gina Young is doing a live cooking session. You bet I am, and guess what? We're going to have a fun time doing it. There's nobody in here. I'm talking to myself, but I tell you what, I'm all excited. <laughs> I'm all excited. Come on in. As you come in, I see a couple people in there. As you come in, give a thumbs up. I see all through it, three of you. Kevin and Latika, Maddie, Lynette, um, Norto, Danetta, a little bit. Hello, Audrey, Shonda. Wow, it's going fast. How's everybody doing? <laughs> Rhonda Prelo, the miss is here. Nicole is here. Carol is here. Pixie Dust is here. Stephanie, hello, hello, hello. On the move is here. Hello, everybody. Listen, if at any time I miss your name or I miss a message from you all, feel free to just message me back, okay? Because I only got two eyes. I only got two. I should probably have four right now, but only got two eyes, and sometimes it's hard to see everybody's name, okay? Mikhail, hello. Jaylena, hello. Nancy, hello. Marietta, A. Briggs, Harold, how you doing? Pixie, how you doing? Shirley, how you doing? Amanda, hello. Cynthia, Sharon Adams, Angela, Latrice. Uh, me the best. Hello. Alyssa Wooten. Hello, 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 hello. It's Monday, y'all. We're going to have a fun time. Jay is here. Hello, hello. Let's see. Jay Turkle. Turkle. Hello. Marine and Eula. Miss K. Oh, uh oh, hold on. Miss CRK1. Hello. You're a breath of fresh air. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I want to be a blessing to you all. I want to be a blessing to you all. I want to bring you all amazing, delicious recipes that's cost effective and that's easy to make, right? It's a Monday. You all have worked hard. I know you want to come home. I know you want to come home. Take your shoes off. Throw some pajamas on. Cook something quick, simple, and easy, right? That's delicious too, right? And it's cost effective. That's what we're doing here today. Judy, hello, special K. Hello, hello, hello. Gloria Johnson, Cat Slat is back. Phases is here. Welcome back. Thank you all. If you are new to my channel, feel free. Timothy is here. Hello. Um, if you are new, how's Prince? He's doing okay. Sonia, how you doing? If you're new, tell me you're new so I can welcome you in such a, such a way. Mary Jane, hello. But if for some reason I don't get to see your message of you saying, hey, I'm new, the people in the background would love to welcome you to our family. It, it's, it, it's like a family reunion when we get on here, y'all. Marcel, Amanda. What, how do I say that name? Avandi? Oh, hold on. Avandi? I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to say it. Love you too. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. They want him to, how, what did they say? They want him to rest. He's doing okay. Everything checked out okay. Maybe he just had a stomach virus. We're just not sure. He doesn't have, um, his bowels isn't bothering him. And, and, and for the people that don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about my puppy, y'all, my sweet puppy. He's doing okay. So he checked out good at the vet. His stomach isn't bothering him. He is hungry. He's eating. He's jumping around, and he's being himself. So he's good. But if anything were to change, I'm going to give you all the, the update on that, okay? You said, I'm new. Okay, what's your, I'm new. Already sent the message. Barbara Taylor, hello. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming in. Annette Edwards is new. Welcome in to my channel. Absolutely. Zadi is here. Prince is doing good. You're new and you're so happy. Let's see. So happy Prince is doing well. Cindy Bates, welcome in and thank you so much. So much. Thank you for coming in and joining today. Oh yeah, he's doing okay. Um, if y'all remind me towards like the end of the chat, I, I, I might grab him and show him to you guys. Okay. 
Hello, Mildred's here, Trina's here, Mary Graham, A. Briggs, Kathy Glenn. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Go ahead and put that out. Nadine, hello, Shirley Clark. Hello, y'all. My hair is not done and I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I came to show y'all a good time. <laughs> I don't care, y'all. We've been, we've been so busy today, but it's okay. And I'm so glad that you all are here with me. Valencia, the Archer family is here. Loretta's here. Iris is here. Hello. Welcome, Zadi. Mishan is here. Patsy H. Gina um, Bo is here. I don't, I don't know if that's your name. Baddix or Bo? <laughs> Thank you, Nadine. Miss V Food Vlogs. Hello. Connie, hello. Okay, Connie says I'm new. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So what I'd like for you all to do here. Listen, y'all. It's really important that you do this. Thank you, Miss Karen. I, I don't have no product in my hair. <laughs> None at all. Nothing at all. all I, I just put the hat on. I just put the hat on. That's all I could, that's all I could do. <laughs> um, I need y'all during this live to make the thumbs up match with the people that's in here. I see all 232 of you, right? Only 82 of you is giving a thumbs up. Give a thumbs up and let's make it match, y'all. The least you can do is give me a thumbs up. I plan on showing y'all a good time today and good conversations. Y'all gonna be able to ask me questions and we can chit chat after we cook. We're gonna have fun. Least you can do, bring the thumbs up up. <laughs> Thank you, phases. Let me see what happened. Okay, 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 so you got that. Um, what about this? Huh? Why didn't you do it? Because you did it really loud. Huh? Because you did it really loud. I put it in The other one wasn't available. It was for me. This, this is it. We, we got rid of the other one, right? Yeah, Hello? It's not there anymore. Okay. Okay. You, you got to get on it. You. <laughs> okay. So there's that. I want that to stay on there. Okay. All right, y'all. Cat. Slat is here. I really like saying that name for some reason. It's kind of interesting to me. Cat Slat. Melissa, how you doing? All right. Thank you, The Miss. Absolutely. Get on it, Harley. <laughs> how is everybody doing? Kathy Johnson, welcome in. Okay. So, Gina, are you able to go live on your other channel? Here, here's what's interesting. Well, they tell you that you can go live on that channel, right? But for some reason, you can't go live on the phone. I, 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 Mildred's here, welcome back in. Um, I, don't quote me, I, I, I think that's the case. If you go live, you have to do it on your laptop. I have a laptop, of course, but I don't wanna go live on my laptop because if I were, that would be awesome, right? I think you have to get like to a certain, you have to have um, certain things to happen once they open up different things for you. It's not unlocked yet. Okay, and it's not, what, say it again? It's not unlocked. And it's not unlocked yet for me to where I can go live on the phone. So let's just say I wanted to cook something keto friendly for y'all. Uh, I don't have the type of laptop where I have a computer on, I'm, I'm sorry, where I have a camera on the back of my computer and I could have my computer record me. So if I were to go live, it would just be a live where I'm just sitting right in front of you all just like this, just talking. So I think I'll wait until I meet all of those goals and, and a lot of the goals are almost met, okay? Um, so, and then they'll say, boom, you've unlocked this, you're allowed to go live, you know. So, so that's what I'm waiting for. Um, we're almost there. We're almost there with God on our side. Who's ready to cook? Who is ready to, oh, listen, listen. When we get to the level we meet everything, all the standards that they're looking for, um, I'm gonna go live over there. We're gonna be cooking healthy foods one day over here. We're gonna be making you know, food over here on this channel. We're gonna have a ton of fun. And I'm here to promise you all a good time. So now uh, plug that in over there where it needs to be. 
Taking notes. Okay, anybody cooking with me? Phases, Aunt Phases says, okay, if you're cooking, give me a red heart so I can have an idea. Who's gonna cook with me? Yes, Princess doing okay, y'all. I'ma show him to you, okay? Harold says, I'm ready. Okay, you're taking notes. Okay, this is great. So now what we're gonna be doing today, Alyssa's just watching. Alyssa, how you doing today? Okay, okay, so we are making taco pasta. This recipe couldn't be more easy to make, delicious and cost effective, doesn't cost you anything to make. And some of these ingredients, Oh, okay, Harley. Well, I'm glad that you, I hope you're feeling better and you're healing well. Um, some of these ingredients, you don't have to use them. Um, when, we're, I, when I think of making, when I think of making um, something that is uh, taco, I think about all the top, toppings we would use for like a taco salad jalapenos, uh, cream cheese, shredded cheese, tomato, all the fixings that you love for a taco, you can put it in this recipe. So let me get up. I'm getting my apron on. You got that light in my eye. I'm getting my apron on. We're gonna wash our hands and let's get started. And then we're gonna chit chat for a couple hours. Okay, here, you can go ahead and take this. Let me have the... Uh, Microphone, please. Gina, can you show us how to make red velvet brownies? I got to figure out how to make them first. <laughs> I would love to make some red brown, red velvet brownies. I got to figure out how to make them first. So what I'll do, I'll do some research, figure out how to make them, and then I can bring the recipe to you all. It is cat slat. It's going to be great. It's going to be great, okay? Wash your hands and let's go, okay? All right, so let me turn on the microphone. The sound will leave out, but, but the sound's coming right back in, okay? So let's see. There we go. I'm plugging the mic microphone in. Christopher, how you doing? Shirley Clark, hello, hello. Hello. All right, we're putting the, attaching the microphone. Hello, Stephanie. <coughs> Make sure that your hands are impeccably clean. <laughs> That's what cat slats is. Um, di didn't know you were cooking today. I made lasagna. Okay, so now what I did do is I put a community post up. I posted it yesterday. And I also posted it today so nobody could say I didn't get the message. Right? So I did a community post saying what we're going to be cooking. I put all the ingredients in the comment section so if you wanted to cook with me, the ingredients were there. I put up two posts just in case there were someone out there that said I didn't get the notification. All right, y'all, I'm gonna flip this camera around. You wanna put that away first before I flip the camera? Okay, in about two seconds, I'm gonna grab my apron and we're gonna get started. Thank you, Sonia. Huh? Uh-uh, I don't need it. T-Love, I love it. T-Love says, Gina, my garlic butter shrimp turned out so good. Oh, my goodness. See, like, the shrimp, it has the shell on it. And, you know, when you have, like, a seafood boil, put that stuff away. You know how um, you, you make, like, a seafood boil and those shrimp have the shells on and you kind of... You know, you suck the seasoning off and then you discard of the shell. That's what the whole idea is to do, to suck all that beautiful seasoning off of the shell, discard of the shell, and then eat the shrimp. It's so much fun. It's like kind of like playing with your food a little bit. But I tell you what, I was so happy and astonished with how the uh, shrimp turned out. It was gore. I was giving it to my husband. He was... He was throwing them things back. He loved it. <laughs> so if y'all didn't get to see what we're talking about, I did a garlic butter shrimp the other day, and it was so good. All right, Gina, stop all the talking. I know. I, I know that's what you're saying right now. 
I'ma stop. I'm getting my apron on. <laughs> uh, icy ice therapy. I don't really have any interest in it right now. Right now, I don't have any interest in it. But that doesn't mean that maybe later I will. You know, you never know. All right. I had a seafood, oh, you did. You had a seafood boil earlier. Uh, I believe in that, Jarrett. Let me, let me see what Jarrett says. Jarrett says, the future is brighter than the past. Absolutely. Let's get started with the cooking. How's Prince? He's doing okay. They want me. They ready for me to stop talking? Let's get. Let's get started, Gina. They, they always do it to me. They do. What we talking? Oh, y'all, listen. You said where's Prince? Look at him, guys. Look at him. Oh my goodness! Look at the baby. There he is, and he doing just fine. PP, are you doing okay, hun? Oh, <laughs> you doing okay, sweetie petite? Okay, there he is, y'all. <laughs> He's so cute, ain't he? Look at that baby. I know, I know. Y'all, if something happened to him, I wouldn't be no good. I wouldn't be no good for y'all. <laughs> All right, let's get started. And Polo was just Polo was just uh, scratching on my leg as I was looking at Prince. He is he is so happy. He was wagging his tail. I don't know if y'all could see it. All right, I'm coming. Let's get started. And they want me to get started right now. <laughs> my husband is laughing. He is laughing. Okay, so listen, I think that it's such a great idea to put noodles into, it's kind of like a taco salad, and you decided to put noodles in it, it's such a bright idea. Okay, so now, I want you all, I'm going to wash my hands here in just a second. I want you all to get you some water going, okay, I got some water over here and literally I don't feel like you need a pound of noodles use about a half a pound of noodles that's about all you're gonna need okay um, you can use the spiral noodles you can use a, um, a egg noodle or the elbow noodles like I'm using today and we all know what elbow noodles are just the regular you know noodle like you would use in a macaroni and cheese okay so uh, let me wash my hands, we're gonna get started. And every once in a while, I'll check in on the comments. If there's anybody cooking with me that needs help, throw up a red stop sign, you know, letting me know that if for some reason I can't get to the message, somebody in the background will, will be able to stop me. Say, hey, so-and-so has a question, all right? Mildred, how is your hand doing today? That's what I'd love to know. I'm going to look at the messages after I wash my hands. Okay, one second. My husband says hello to you guys. He said hello to everybody. I need you to grab me a paper towel, please. T Love and Saj is here. Hello, hello. Hello. Taco Pasta. Nelly, hello. Ursula says hello, hello. Thank you for coming in. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my beef here. Feel free to absolutely use a ground chicken or a ground turkey if that's what you love. You know, use what you love so you can enjoy the recipe. Because you may have a family that just strictly eats ground turkey. And if you do, I can understand. Then use that. Don't ever feel like you can't like alter the recipe just a little bit. You know, as long as you don't leave out the main ingredients, then I'm okay with it. You know, but if you like ground turkey, that's what you're gonna use. You're gonna be able to enjoy the recipe. So now after handling this one pound of meat, guess what I'm gonna do? 
I'm going to wash my hands because I don't want the bacteria from this meat to transfer to anything else, okay? Because that wouldn't be good. We'd be transferring bacteria, E. coli, you know. And so therefore, when you touch raw meats, even if you touch its package, then you wash your hands to keep everything nice and neat, okay? Nice and clean and sanitized. All right, so I wanna grab my masher that I have. You know, I use this masher to break up my burger. I also use this masher like for mashed potatoes or something like that. Okay, let's see. Mildred, not yet. Checking in from Memphis. Welcome, thank you for coming in. How do you cook shellfish for your family if you're allergic? Well, Nancy, if you've got somebody in your family that's allergic, I don't suggest you cook it. I don't because it can get really touchy. Um, you know, you don't want to get shellfish juices on your counter and they come by and touch the counter and then they have a reaction. You know, it's really touchy. If I have somebody in my family that's allergic to something like that, you gotta make sure you're, I wouldn't cook it. I wouldn't cook it. <laughs> yeah. You hear the crunch? What are you eating? That's Dakota. He's right in front of the camera and he's chewing on ice. It's Dakota. He's, he's eating ice. He must be hungry. That, that's all I can think. He's hungry, y'all. <laughs> oh, Nancy, you're allergic. Okay. <clears throat> so, Nancy, you're saying that yourself is allergic. If you're allergic, don't you make it. And I'm here to tell you right now, don't make it. Because you don't want to have an allergic reaction. You know, if you can't have it, then you just can't have it. You know, and honestly, it's going to have to be that simple. So, um, what I'm going to do here, I've turned on water behind me on the larger stove. And I'm going to be cooking a half pound, maybe even a less than a half pound. Only need a little bit of noodles for one pound of meat, okay? So, I'm going to set this over here. Salt your water anytime you're making rice, potatoes, or noodles. You salt it to give it nice flavor, okay? I do have a seasoning pack here. You can use taco. You can get the low sodium. Absolutely you can. And they come in all different name brands, all different type of flavors. I love them because they taste good. loud but you can hear. Is anybody else having an issue with the microphone? Hold on guys, you're looking at the ceiling right now because we're checking out the microphone. You mentioned it a couple of times. You hear loud and clear on your laptop, says Gina. I can hear you, says the miss. You can use penne pasta, absolutely whatever kind of pasta you got at the house, go ahead and use it. But like I said, just, just a little bit, okay? But literally, I'm going to show you how much I'm going to use. It, it ain't a lot, okay? So what we're doing right now is I want to go in and I want to put some black pepper into my meat here. Y'all, we like the flavor of black pepper. It has antioxidants in it. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and break our meat down just by a little bit. You want little tiny pieces. You don't want big old meatballs, right? You don't want you don't want these to be big pieces. What's happening? Okay. All right. So now we're breaking the meat down in such a manner. It's going to get nice and brown. And one thing that you need to do um, after your meat is done, you got to drain it. Drain it, drain it, drain it. You don't want to digest that nasty oil. You don't want to put it in your stomach. It's not needed. No, you said not issues. I hear you just fine. Thank you so much. 
Yeah, I do have a clip-on microphone here. It's right here. Sometimes when you feel me, when you see me do this, um, I'm just making sure that the microphone is attached. It's on. It's on, and I can see that the other one's on. Oh, okay. Okay, so Sonia says she just turned the phone up and she can hear just fine. So a lot of times, y'all, what you can do is just like Sonia did, turn the device up. Whatever you're watching on, it may be your television, your laptop, your iPad, your phone. Just turn it up a little bit and it'll sound great, okay? So we have our meat cooking up just like so. I'm gonna pour, <clears throat> I'm gonna pour the desired amount of my elbow noodles into a bowl. I'll do it right here. And that way I can show you about how much I'm gonna use, okay? This recipe is delicious. And it's so easy to make. I, I couldn't, I couldn't be more proud of this recipe. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Let's see, I wanna, I'll put it in a bowl so it doesn't go all over the place. It's a beautiful day outside, y'all. What's the weather like where you all are at right now? Let me know. I'm really interested in knowing what your weather, what your, what your weather been doing. Is that turkey meat, Barbara? It's not. Um, it's a ground beef, but absolutely you could use the turkey meat, okay? Look at this. Come on and look. Just that little bit. Okay, and I may take a little out. You don't need a lot. That little bit, y'all can see that? Yes? Okay. All right, awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and put my noodles in. All right. And this here, we can close it back up and use it to make some macaroni salad this weekend. Absolutely we can, right? Macaroni salad sounds good. Yes. As long as the macaroni salad has a lot of tomatoes in it and eggs, I'm happy with it. There's nothing like having fresh macaroni salad that is loaded with eggs and tomatoes. 70s in Cleveland. Okay, 71 in New Jersey. Cloudy and breezy in August, Georgia. Okay. You tried and you went to the emergency room twice already because your throat was starting to close. Oh my goodness. 70, where Miss Karen is. Oh, and Atlanta. Gina, your two-year-old grandson is calling your tomato a ball. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. So he's looking, tell him to look at me right now. I'm playing with, I'm going to have him throwing your tomatoes all over the place. <laughs> he's going to say, yeah, it is a ball. Look at her throw it. <laughs> that sure is cute. <laughs> Stop. Is he a burger? Uh, those. Is the hamburger in the plastic tubes just as good as the kind in the styrofoam package? Today, this was the kind that was frozen, and it was in the, in the plastic tube. Me, personally, it, it all depends. It all depends because, honestly, I've purchased hamburger like this in the tubes and it was delicious. And then I purchased hamburger in the styrofoam thing and it was delicious. Or maybe I purchased it like this before and it was disgusting. Or maybe I purchased it, you know, so it all depends on what grade of meat you got. You, you know, it, it's kind of like a hit or miss. Hit or miss. I tell you one thing, um, there was one time, <laughs> I just have to be honest, there was one time, um, Somebody had came up to us in the store and suggested that we purchase a certain kind of ground beef, and I thought it was just the greatest. But I don't know how to purchase it anymore. I don't know what to look for. <laughs> so this is going to have to do. If you know how to season it, you can make it taste good. <laughs> 73 in upstate New York. It's been raining every Saturday. Is that right? 79 and sunny in Cincinnati. Okay, oh my goodness, 75 in Flint, Michigan. Oh wow, taco pasta is on the menu. Thank you, Sonia. Okay, so come on in and take a
take a look at my beef here. It's cooking up, y'all. I am going to stir my noodles, and the purpose for stirring the noodles is honestly to make sure that my noodles aren't sticking to each other, okay? I don't need to take y'all over there. I'm just going to give it a nice stir. I'm glad I came over here because it was ready to boil over. I'm going to pour a little bit of my water out, just like so. Just a little bit. And I'm going to turn it down. I typically cook my noodles for about 11 minutes. 11 minutes gives you that perfect al dente where it's chewy to the tooth, you know, but not mushy, right? And that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so while our hamburger cooks up, our noodles cook up, go ahead and take out a strainer, or some of you may call it a cup colander. Get that out because you're going to need it for your noodles. In the meantime, let's chop up some onion. I'm not using a lot. And you could have put the onion in if you wanted to um, when you put the, the meat in, but it really don't matter, okay? Let's just aim to cook the onion, and it's not going to take a long time because we're not using a whole bunch, okay? So look at this little bit that I'm using. Just that little bit, believe it or not, is going to give us amazing flavor. Trust me when I tell you, okay? I hope y'all are having a great day today. Somebody, anybody out there, let me know. Do you love tacos? If you love tacos, I know you're going to love this. You're going to love it. Look at that little bit of onion. But we only have one pound of meat. We only got one pound of meat, so you don't want to overwhelm it with too much onion, okay? I'm going to wash my hands after this because I don't want to go off crying. And these onions, oh wait, they'll have me crying all right. All right, let me wash my hands just a little bit. And I'm going to mix those onions into my meat. Make sure you have some sour cream. I feel like the world loves sour cream on their tacos. And so you want to make sure you have that. You also want to make sure you have your favorite shredded cheese. I'm going to use shark today, but you can use what kind you love, okay? All right, let's cut some tomatoes. Tomatoes, tomatoes. Potatoes, potatoes. All right, look at this. I'm going to cut the whole thing because I know we can use this tomato for, you know, maybe tomorrow morning for omelets or, you know, somebody might want extra tomato in their taco pasta today. See that there? <laughs> okay. Beautiful tomato, nice, fresh. What you're going to notice is your produce, as the weather warms up, your produce is going to get even more fresher. You're going to see more beautiful tomatoes, more beautiful cucumbers. Everything's going to be gorgeous because it's in season versus it not being in season, you know, in the winter time. So I have some tomato here. I have some shredded lettuce. Now, just have the toppings available for your family if they want it. They may not want it, you know, but just have it available because I know for a fact that my husband's going to want lettuce, tomatoes, and sour cream on his because that's what he likes on his taco. So I'm going to have it available. Like me, I'm not going to put the lettuce and tomato on there because that's not what I want, you know. I, I want, I'll, I'll show you how I eat mine. Oh, I'll show you. And there's going to be somebody out there that, you know, wants red pepper flakes or jalapenos on there. Absolutely. Just have it available so that they can have it. So take a look in at the meat and what we got going on right now. And then I'll go in and take a look at my beautiful pasta that's cooking up. Um, T. Love says, our online family, Gina, you make my day. Thank you, our Lord, for blessing you with the cooking thumb. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm here for you. I'm here for you, and I pray. I always pray that we have a great time, nice, clean, fun. I want to bring the world great recipes, Gina Young style. Gina style. Absolutely. You need a 24-hour notice? I, I gave a 24-hour notice. Ron Wilson, how you doing? I gave a 24-hour notice yesterday. I posted it. And then I posted it today. I did. I did. I, so, so it, now 
if you remember, <laughs> now if Ron, Ron is totally nuts right now. Um, if you remember, remember when the live cut off on me the other day? I couldn't even shut the live off, y'all. So anyways, I was reading y'all comments and you see me commenting here and there. And I seen Sonia say, well, she says she'll see us Monday. Right? That's the last thing that I saw. I saw Sonia say, she says she'll see us Monday. So it was all in my head. When that camera went down, I said, I'm going live on Monday. And then Sunday I posted, hey, Gina's going live. <laughs> we some hungry people, Gina. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So now here's what's great about my burger. Come take a look. That was one pound of the burger and it did come in the tube. There's no oil in there. Isn't that something? Ain't no oil for me to even pour off, which is great. I'm so happy with that. So now we want to really cook the onions. You don't want raw onions, right? When you make, <clears throat> those of you that don't know, when you make taco meat, um, the package always requires you to put some water in, okay? Sometimes you'll see me put some craft singles in there to make it nice and cheesy, but we're using shredded cheese today, which is really interesting, okay? So, um, if your meat has let off a lot of oil, drain it, okay? I ain't got no oil in this pan and I'm so happy. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Do you add seasoning while you're cooking your meat? No, um, I didn't add the seasoning yet. This is gonna be our seasoning. Only thing I added was black pepper. Okay, drain your meat. <clears throat> like I said, mine don't have no oil. Since my ground beef is nice and cooked, go ahead and take your packet. It's always one seasoning packet. Okay, listen to me. One seasoning packet per pound of meat. So of course, if you were using two, um, pounds of meat, then you're going to use two of these. Keep in mind that you can buy this low sodium or original. Some of them spicy, some of them cheesy. Like, have fun when you go to the local market to look for this. Find what kind you think you're going to like. Okay? And um, this right here, it, it's just original flavor. Okay? So let's get that in there. Right? Come on in. Okay, that's great. <laughs> All right. Turn the music down. He got the music to come in. You're going to get the channel demonetized. Your music's too loud. Okay, okay. So now we're going to put some water in, just like so. Turn it down, Dakota. All right, here we go, y'all. Oh yeah, um, Dolores, that's great. I, I love that technique. Um, you may have seen me do that in the past when I make chicken wings. I'll get a, damp, uh, a clean, dry paper towel. I'll just be blotting inside of my pan. If I want to soak up some oil, it's, a, it's, it's great to do. But when you do it, just please be very careful because I don't want nobody to burn herself. I don't suggest that you do it, but it, it is a nice way to get rid of oil if you got a little bit of oil in your pan you want to get rid of. So take a look at the sauce that has formed in my pan. Oh, yes. That's the sauce that we live for, right? You bet we do. Mmm. And here, you know, y'all, I want, I want some more taco seasoning. Now, I keep this in my pantry. If when you make this, you want a little bit more, then by all means, you can use a little more, okay? I'm going to put some more because I want this to be really saucy, okay? So I'm going back in with some water. I, I don't measure the water, okay? I'm just looking for a real creamy, dreamy consistency, right? I want it to be creamy. I want it to be dreamy and flavorful. Yes, look at that. Come on in, y'all. Come on in. Somebody saying yes to this right now. I know you are. Oh, wait, a little bit more water. Make it creamy as you want. I, I don't want, I don't want dry taco meat. 
Dry taco meat is like the works. Your taco meat should have some moisture to it. It should, it should, okay? Hello everyone in the chat share. Thank you, Mildred. Thank you so much, Mildred. Thank you, I appreciate that. Okay, so now, uh, keep putting water in until I'm happy with the consistency. Oh, look at that. Come on in, y'all. Look at this. Can y'all see this? What was the seasoning that I just used? The same seasoning. It's just a taco seasoning. Just taco seasoning. And um, this can stop you from buying the packets if you want it to. That's just something I have in my cabinet all the time. Okay? Because a lot of times we use that seasoning for other things other than tacos. So let's grab out our cheese and check on your noodles. Check your noodles because they're most likely done. Well, I feel like my noodles can go. Oh, let me see. Let me, let me grab one. Remember back in the days, I remember when I was younger, somebody said, take the noodle, throw it up, <laughs> throw it up on the ceiling, and if it sticks, it's done. Right? I did that when I was younger. I thought that was so interesting. Oh, my noodle's up. It was. It's the original. Thank you. Oh, my noodles are done. I'm going to go ahead and drain them in my colander. Okay. Let it drain. Meanwhile, I'm going to grab the cheese. Turn this down on low. Turn all the way down. 11 minutes. Yes, al dente. Al dente chewing to the tooth and never ever motion. I love to say it because one of the worst things in the world is for you to overcook your noodles and it's disgusting, right? Give it 11 minutes after it begins to boil. You're going to be happy. Now this part right here, I want you to put in how much cheese you want, your favorite cheese, okay? How much you want your favorite cheese. How little you want. You might want a little bit, okay? So now let's talk about something really quickly. Hair is what's, what's exciting. Hold on. This is exciting. Um, today, I posted a recipe on the new channel. It is keto-friendly fajita-stuffed chicken breast. You're going to want to go over there, check the recipe out. You're going to be astonished at the flavor. The flavor's out of sight. The flavor will knock your socks off. Okay? The recipe was easy. It doesn't cost a lot. And um, it's a very quick meal to make. So if you're looking for keto-friendly, healthy recipes, go over to uh, the new channel, which is Healthy Recipes with... The one and only, Gina. Healthy recipes with Gina. Go on over and um, check it out. You're going to love that recipe along with all of the others that we'll be adding to that channel. All healthy foods, okay? Diabetic friendly, keto friendly, low carb, sodium free. We're going to incorporate all of that fun stuff, okay? Hello, Faza. Yes, thank you, Sonia. Okay, so, so come on in. Take a look, take a look, take a look. Now you can think about putting your noodles in. We added the cheese. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. Somebody's excited. Oh, Miss Karen said the stuffed chicken looks so good. Thank you, Miss Karen. Tell them. Tell them all about it in case they didn't know, right? Oh, look at this. <laughs> That's why I said, if you're using one pound of meat, you, you don't need a whole lot of noodles, okay? Come on and look at this. Ooh, talk about taco pasta. Talk about it. We can talk all about it. You're going to taste it. You bet you are. Look at that. Uh-huh. You know. Something makes me feel like we should have a little tomato sauce in there. But then, 
I don't think we need it, but I want to put some in there. <laughs> Look at this. Come on in, y'all. I want y'all to have a really close up. Begin to get all of your, um, everything that your, your toppings. If you want to put toppings on here, as you serve it, put lettuce, tomato, jalapenos, uh, sour cream, whatever you want. That's how you serve it. You may have some little ones that just want it just like this, like I do. But I know my husband wants it with lettuce and tomato and jalapenos and sour cream. Just have that stuff available, okay? Guess what? Dinner served. How easy. Somebody out there tell me, Gina, that was easy. So now I'm turning the burner off. The burner is off and dinner is served. Y'all worked hard today. Everybody worked hard today. You deserve a delicious, easy, quick, simple, cost-effective meal. Look at this. <laughs> this recipe right here is something else. <laughs> exactly. Stomach be rumbling after one scoop. <laughs> Shakira, thank you. Socks off, says Lynette. <laughs> okay, let's grab up the stuff that we need. All right, I'm getting the goodies out. Where's all my goodies? Okay, we got the lettuce. Let, let me grab it. This lettuce here, let me open it. Okay, one second. I'm going to add my lettuce to a bowl. It's um, iceberg lettuce, it's crispy. Iceberg lettuce is so refreshing. It's crispy. It's delicious. If you want, I see that Mildred. Mildred, stop. <laughs> if you want something nice and fresh, listen, this definitely will be the recipe for you. Do I have any jalapenos for my husband? I don't think I do. <laughs> oh, everybody's saying yum, 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 yum. You got rice and beans? No, this is not rice and beans. Yeah, take a look. This is actually taco pasta. Look at it. Y'all kind of remind you of one of our, all of our childhood favorite recipe. Can you all tell me if you know what I'm talking about when I say one of our childhood favorite recipes? What does this remind you of a little bit? Somebody says goulash, that's definitely, how you doing, Drew? That's definitely um, one, but I was thinking of, come on down, Gina. <laughs> Hamburger helper, there you go, there you go. I, I couldn't think of it, Saj. I, could, I just couldn't think of it. So let's put it on a plate. Let's get it onto a plate, and you can see how it's served, okay? So now I'm going to make, let me, let me ask my husband how hungry he is, okay? Because mine is going to be just a little bit because I'm not real hungry. Okay, hold on, y'all. just ate the whole chicken breast <laughs> the whole chicken breast from uh, the healthy channel so <laughs> when I went in there he said you know I just ate that whole chicken breast <laughs> so, <laughs> all right so here's how it's done all right watch this oh this what this is exciting oh look at it you want this to be yours I gotta lick my finger, y'all. I had to. You want lettuce and tomato? Just on the side and you can mix it in, okay? Yes. How about it? You want sour cream? Huh, is that good? Oh, ha, ha. Oh, wait. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we thank you on today for your energy, your strength, your courage, and your will. Your will 
to do what you want us to do. No weapons formed against us shall ever prosper in the name of Jesus. We bind that evil devil away from us on a daily basis. Let the devil know he stands no chance. Father, we thank you for your mercy, your love, time, your understanding. We thank you for a peace of mind. Heavenly Father, please bless over this household from top to bottom. Thank you for this beautiful meal. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, this is yours. Look at you. Look at this, y'all. How simple was the recipe? You bet it was. It was and, and then they're just going to mix in, <coughs> excuse me, what they want. Okay? I'm going to go ahead. I know they're going to see me eat. So I'll make myself a little bit. Yo, we was chowing down on the keto fajita stuff. <laughs> we was. Keto. And my husband just, y'all, did y'all hear him in the background? He said it don't taste keto. He Not said it's good. Say, say it again. It don't taste keto. <laughs> he said it don't. It, it, it was good. So we, we just ate. All right, look at that. There's my plate. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of sour cream on. And if it's okay. <laughs> okay, so the mess says, now i got to go to the kitchen. I'm going to make it, dog, on it. <laughs> I'm going to make it. You have to. <laughs> it, you have to make it. Oh, how easy. How easy. Okay. Amen to my beautiful prayer. I'm coming around. I'm coming around. We're going to chit-chat. We're going to talk. We're going to have a good time. Okay? Give me one second and I'm coming around. doggone well he told me he was full don't you know i done went in there and gave him some of my plate <laughs> he just said you think that's funny don't you <laughs> i i know doggone well i know doggone well they laughing <laughs> yes drew drew says you can also put the ingredients inside of a taco why not a man is never full. <laughs> Why not? Put it inside of a soft shell taco, a hard taco, whatever you like. I'm taking the microphone off, okay? So now you're going to hear background noise. You're hungry. Okay, y'all. Okay, let's come down on it. Where's the hot sauce? Yum. If you want the hot sauce, absolutely. Take a look at this taco pasta you better make yourself baby i love you mm, 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 mm. y'all why he is funny isn't he why is this just like taco salad only a little bit better mm, only a lot better look at this girl you something else mm, mm, mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. He is. Mm. Look at that. Mm. Mm hmm. I forgot my face wasn't showing. Wait a minute. <laughs> uh oh. I'm being messy. Oh my goodness. delicious it's spicy a little bit even though we use the original um seasoning it does have a little bit of spice to it so if you're that person that you just love pasta give you some okay this is for mildred mildred th there you go <laughs> mm -hmm. that's it 
Y'all, that's it. I'm making this meal. Run, just make it. Just make it because you would love it. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she said, thank you, Gina. You're welcome. I'm going to try not to hurt myself. Here's the thing. I can't eat all this. I can't because we just had that stuffed chicken breast and it was good. I mean, we was lit. We, you know how you lick a plate? You know, you like this? <laughs> we was doing this with that stuffed chicken breast, y'all. It was so good. But, uh, uh, mm. I'm just taking a bite of this for the people in the background that want to see me eat. But I tell you what, I'll finish it for you. <laughs> You'll finish it for me. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. And it is. If you love pasta, you love tacos, that's for you. I see a lot of people saying I'm making it. You have to. When you see a delicious, easy recipe, oh, you keep saying you want me to do the bean pie. I'll have to do the bean pie for you. When you see a quick and easy recipe, I think it would be great that you try it. You know, just give it a try just to say whether you like it or not, you know? Oh, you said, no, you, you missed it. You'll try again. That's okay. You can, um, hold on, y'all. Watch the replay. And when you watch the replay, you're going to get to see everything that we did, you know, step by step. And you're going to be able to enjoy the, the video. Um, if you wanted to, right now, you can rewind it. And then after I cook... You can come back, you know, take that red line and bring it back to where we're currently at in the live. Or you can watch it, the replay later. It was, uh uh, turn that music off. Um, how do you do that? What do you can redo? What do you can redo? Yeah, bring it here. <laughs> what is true? <laughs> oh, how's the flowers doing in the backyard? They're doing okay. Uh, let me show them to you. The last time I showed you, I was getting ready to put them in the ground. So tonight I'm going to go out and I'm going to water them really well. I watered them yesterday evening. Was it yesterday? I'm going to water them again because today was a very, very hot day. Oh, you planted yours. Great. Um, they do need to be watered. I'm going to water them this evening, and I'm going to put that little dash of uh, Dawn dishwashing liquid into my water. I've Anytime I plant plants, I put a little tiny bit, just a little dot of Dawn dishwashing liquid. Oh, you copied me. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's great. Tell me. Uh, I put that into my plants and the, and the flowers, they just grow like amazing. I don't have any issues when I use, I, I, I feel like it's because I use the Dawn. Let's go out, let's go out back and look at them. Do y'all, do y'all need to go pee pee? Look at them. Go ahead, go all the way out. Yes, you can use, um, you can use whole wheat pasta. Absolutely you can. Okay, now you said you put too much water. If you put too much water, add some more cheese and drain some of your water, okay? And it's going to be that simple. You let yours cook a little bit longer, okay? Um, let yours cook a little bit longer. If you can pour some of the liquid off, then you know, uh, just pour some of the liquid off. So let me show y'all. So together, take a look.
Now my husband's gonna take some black mulch and he's gonna put it down here. Now that we have the plants nice and planted, sun patients, uh, marigolds, okay? Thank you, but they're gonna get they're gonna get much bigger in this area. This is the backyard, and then um, I have the uh, geraniums here. Hold on, let me get the dogs in because the neighbors are out. Come on, y'all! Don't you bark at that neighbor. Get your butt in here, barking at them. We got good neighbors, y'all. I got like the best neighbor. <laughs> I do. I have like the best neighbor ever. <laughs> I hate when the dogs bark at them because my neighbors are amazing. Me and my husband was just saying that today. Like we have the best neighbors ever. And I'm talking about the neighbors that's on like literally right on the right side of me and right on the left side of me. They are the best neighbors ever. I love them. <laughs> I do. It's thundering. He said it was raining real bad. Okay, Saj, what does Saj say? Oh, it used to set off panic attacks. My goodness, thank you, Sonia. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ron. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, you said that's your weakness. You said, I know I shouldn't eat it every day, um, but you would if you could. Yeah, absolutely. You can turn around and use the whole wheat pasta. It would be tantalizing. Okay, it's gonna be just as good. You know, hope, listen, look, thank you. Whole wheat pasta is not bad at all. Dakota, what did you do? Did you do something on this computer? What did you do on this computer? Did you do something? No. So what did you have this on? What were you doing? Video. What were you doing with it? Oh, um, I was about to edit my Huh? I was about to edit my So what did you go into? And did, and did what? Nothing. I okay, well, let me check. Hold on, y'all. Let me check something real quick. Okay, let's go to Gina live. Gina is live right now. Okay, awesome. Customization. Okay, looks like we're on a live chat. The live chat replay is available. Everyone can message me. I'll get live reactions. I'm just checking some things to make sure everything's going in the right direction. Okay. All right, we got it going on, y'all. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, my goodness. Okay, let's see what y'all are talking about. Uh, you said I'll be having little mini ones every now and then, but not like they used to. Oh, you're talking about the panic attacks, yeah. I felt like, how's the fishes doing? You haven't heard anything about them. Um, let's walk over there. We can look at them. And then I have some in the basement. I'm not going to take you all in the basement <clears throat> for those ones. The ones in the basement are the buck tooth tetras that I showed you all before. When that tank was up here, they kind of glow in the dark a little bit. But they're the cutest things, right? Um, they are in the piranha family, the ones in the basement. Let's go over. I'll show you these. Because so, I haven't. I haven't talked about them in a while. Let me just show you. I don't know if I have the best lighting. There they are. Look at those little suckers. Ain't they cute? Look how gorgeous they are. I got some light shining from my office, y'all. So hopefully you can actually see them. Look how pretty they are. Look at there. Ain't they cute? They so spoiled. When you come up to the thing, they want to eat. Ha <laughs> ha. They want to eat. Look how cute. Y'all, I love them. I love them. I love them. And I tell you what, our water has never been so gorgeous. Um, it's gorgeous. It stays nice and clean because we got that new water system. And our water is nice and healthy for them. 
Ain't they cute? Look at that one there. Look at him looking at us. So there they are, guys. I actually will take y'all downstairs one day to see the other ones as well, okay? So I, I will do that. Okay, so that's what everybody's looking like. Everybody's nice and healthy. <laughs> I, I, I'm glad you asked that because I'm glad to be able to share them with you all. Let's go to my channel. Let's go to the live. There we go. And let's click in on the live like we are. Okay, there we are, I'm in there. Somebody says they was freaking out. What, what are you freaking out about? Beautiful tank, thank you. Okay, so thanks Chet and Gina. It's working. Ooh, we I was freaking out. What are you freaking out for? <laughs> Thank you all for telling me the fish tank is gorgeous. We we love it. We love it, y'all. We we really do. Thank you, Mildred. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Y'all, I really, really, really have a great time on here with you all. Anytime. Let, okay, so listen, it's set in stone. Guess what's set? Does anybody know what's set in stone? What I'm about to talk about, what's set in stone as of today? Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Okay, okay, so uh, Six says, I'm cooking one of your three-year-old chicken recipes right now. Okay, great. That's great. Let me know how you like it. What you think? Share the, you know, share share with the people what you think. How, you know, if you're still on here and I'm still on here. I, I love to hear you guys are saying that you like something that, you know, I possibly may. I don't know what the heck I got on my hat. What is it? Okay, so Zadi figured it out. What it is, is... What's set in stone? Let me make sure I got both babies in here. Okay, yep, I got both of them. Um, Mondays, Jenny Young's going to be cooking live, okay? It's set in stone. Unless, let, let's just say something, you know, because th things can come up, you know? Things can come up because I have another life, you know, a whole life. So um, if something ever comes up and it can't go live, I'll put it in the community post. I'm sorry I can't go live, you know, but I'll always make it up. But um, Mondays, 5 p.m., Gina needs, Gina Beth needs prayer. Can we send a prayer? Yes. Um, Monday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to be going live. Wednesdays, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to be going live. Saturday, as always, at 4 p.m., I'm going to be live cooking sessions, okay? All right, so now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you put a strong blessing up on Beth. Please take care of her in Jesus Christ's name. Lord, we know what your will is. When we know that your will will be done, no weapons formed against Beth shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, you hold the hearts of all kings and authorities over Beth. We pray, Lord, that you bless over her health in Jesus Christ's name. Bless over her family in Jesus Christ's name. Bless over her mind and her, and her mental in Jesus Christ's name. Lord, I thank you ahead of time because I know that you hear this prayer. Please, Lord, put a blessing up on Beth. And Beth, we just ask you in Jesus Christ's name to believe this prayer. Receive it. Believe this prayer and receive it. All you got to do is have a little bit of faith. God is here and God will answer your prayers. No weapons formed against you shall prosper in the name of Jesus, Beth. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering this prayer today. Amen. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love when you guys ask me for prayer. I don't feel like I'm a, like, I, I don't even feel like I really say the best, the, the best prayers. I just say what comes to my mind. You know, my grandmom told me, 
uh, when I was younger, she said, honey, you can pray on the toilet, you can pray on the bus, in the car, standing, walking down the street, pray in the swimming pool, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. She told me, she said, you pray. And when you're praying, you talk to God just like you're talking to me. You pray any time of the day, any time you want to. And so that's what I do. I've heard so many people that they, they say these amazing words and stuff. I'm not that person. I just let whatever I feel come out and God answers. You know, God, I know that God hears my prayer. And so I'm so grateful for somebody's in my driveway. I'm so grateful. Hold on, y'all. Oh, okay. They're showing me uh, that my husband was leaving out at this time. <laughs> out the driveway. But um, don't be afraid to pray. Don't, don't be afraid to pray. Even if you don't know what to say, you can also say, Lord, you know what they need before I even know. You know, or, or Lord, Lord, help me find the words for this person. I don't know them. I don't know who they are, but you do, Lord. And I'm asking you to bless them in such a way. You know, so that, that's what I do. But, uh, Beth, we love you. And we're glad that you're in here. Just keep the faith and hang on as strong, as strong and tight as you can. And know that whatever you're going through in life, that this too shall pass and it will. It always does. This too shall pass. It will. It always does. Right? Might not be on time when you want it. But just hang on there. All right? God is an on-time God and he loves all of us. It's you, Nancy. I thought she said Beth. My holy king, how you doing today? Hey. Thanks for coming in and joining us. Okay, so Geneve says, Gina, I'm so glad I saw your invite. <laughs> hey, Sonia says, my holy king, Gina made the taco, sa taco, taco pasta salad. And, and you know what? My holy king, this had to be one of the easiest, simple, delicious recipes that hardly cost anything. And a lot of the ingredients, you might already have it at the house. You know, if at anything, you might have to go out and get some sour cream or something. Oh, Prince is fine. He is fine. Let me let me show you. Princey, they want to know how you're doing, honey. Princey and Polo. Look at Prince. There he's looking at us. Look at him. There he is. Oh, and he's laying down. <laughs> and there's Polo. He's right by his brother. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Valencia. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <laughs> Y'all, I was praying for Prince. My goodness, I was praying up a storm yesterday. You hear me? I had tears coming down my eyes. He pooped on my leg, and I just wrapped him up in a blanket, and I took some baby wipes and some hot soapy water and wiped his tail and his legs down. I wiped my leg down, changed my pants. I wrapped his bottom half of his body so he didn't poop on me again. <laughs> I wrapped his bottom half of his body up in the sheet and I took my shirt off. Like, um, you know how you give a baby like skin to skin connection? So um, like they say, if they have a fever or when they're brand new babies, they can just get the heat from your body. That's what I do to my baby, my puppies. I took my shirt, took, took my shirt, took everything off. He was laying right on my chest, and then uh, he began to feel better. He did after that prayer, after me wrapping him up in this sheet. He wouldn't eat, wouldn't drink, but he's, you know, doing much better. <laughs> he's, yes, thank you all, but I'll keep you updated <clears throat> because he's still, you see, he's laying down. You know, he does feel better, but, um, Let's just say tomorrow, he ate too. He ate. And what I gave him was some um, boiled chicken breast. No seasoning, no nothing. All right, he had Pedialyte today for dinner. Okay, um, you know, the baby Pedialyte. 
And so that was his liquid. He's been drinking a lot. He don't have diarrhea anymore. Um, he had boiled chicken breast, just plain boiled. It was cooled down and chopped up. He ate all his food. Um, if for some reason I think that he's still not feeling the best tomorrow, he's gonna go back. He's gonna go back and we're gonna say, hey, something wrong with this baby. And we're not leaving until you tell me what's wrong with this puppy. You know, but for right now, I, I feel like, well, y'all seen when he went outside. He was walking, yesterday he wasn't walking. He just went in the grass and laid down and I thought, what the heck? So uh, I'll definitely, whatever it is, I'll keep y'all updated, but they said he's okay today. So that's how that goes. Yes. Oh, y'all. I Listen, if something happened to my puppies, I wouldn't be no good. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what I'd do. Mm, mm. Those is my... Listen, I, I have... Re How old are they? There's three. They're just three years old. Um... Robin needs prayers as well. Okay, um, they're just three years old. Um, I forgot what I was going to say when I read Sonia's message. Oh, thank you, T-Love. Thank you, T-Love. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you put a strong blessing up on Robin. Please bless over her health, her mental. Please bless over her finances. Take care of her and her family in the name of Jesus. No weapons formed against Robin shall prosper. Lord, you know what she needs before I know. And I just pray, Heavenly Father, that you bless her from the top of her head to the bottom of her feet in the name of Jesus. And I'm thanking you ahead of time, Lord, for answering this prayer. You said all we need, Heavenly Father, is the faith as small as a mustard seed. And right now, Lord, I have that faith. I have that faith that you speak of that we need. I have that faith, Lord. And I just, like I said, more than anything, I thank you for hearing and answering this prayer. Put your hands up on Robin in Jesus Christ's name. Let her feel your warmth. Give her a, give her a nice hug in Jesus Christ's name. And thank you, Father, for answering this prayer. Please help her, Lord, with anything that she needs. Let her know that you are right there, Heavenly Father. In Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen. Amen. I see that there was a person in here uh, your message had left but i pray for the person that is going to have surgery have a stint put into their heart i pray heavenly father that you're right there with her her or him i don't know who said it um i pray lord that you bless over the doctor's hands the surgeon's hands the nurse's hands her family's hands i pray that you bless over her body Help her, her or him to be strong in health in Jesus Christ's name. Let no weapons formed against them prosper in the name of Jesus. And we thank you also, Lord, ahead of time for hearing and answering this prayer. Let this person know that they have nothing to worry about in Jesus Christ's name. And we thank you, Lord, for hearing this on today. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I know. I know, absolutely, my holy king, yeah. But you know what this world does? This world does, we all do, y'all, they, y'all, this world does. This world needs prayer, absolutely. Absolutely, I'm doing okay, my holy king. How are you today? I'm a little tired, we was busy today, but uh, I'm so happy to be here with you all today. I was so upset when my live went dead the other day. I could I could I couldn't even figure out how to sh shut the live off. Did y'all see me commenting at the end? <laughs> I seen Sonya said, she says she coming back on on Wednesday. I was laughing like, y'all, I can't even shut the live off, but it, it just went it just went kaput on me. Oh, you saw that? <laughs> 
Yes, Penny, congratulations. Oh, you seen me? <laughs> you said it's okay. And then at one point, I was able to come back into the live, and I was like, yo, what happened? And then it shut down. I said, okay, the heck with it. The heck with it. <laughs> okay, so we plan it all day. Yellow marigold, sun patience, begonias, white, red, Gerber daisies, need to buy. Oh, how exciting. You should send me a picture when you're all done or, or when they get to growing. That's exciting. It's so nice to really get your hands into the dirt, right? Get your hands in there, and sometimes the dirt and the mud just feels so warm. This year, when I plant it, I use gloves. But I really never, ever preferred using gloves. I just felt like they were in the way. But this year, I used gloves um, because I didn't want for there to be any chance that when I came on to cook, because, you know, sometimes it's hard to get that mud. Once you're in the ground, it's hard to get that mud out from under your nails. But... Even though I used the gloves, y'all, my gloves was tearing. And I thought, what the heck? What kind of gloves is these where they tearing? I'm not doing any strenuous work. <laughs> no spud? I don't know what that means. Kathy used gloves and so you use your hands. Yeah. Oh, I know. I know. You still some have some under your, under your nail. I had to use... Um, Toothpicks. <laughs> I had to use toothpicks to get that stuff out of there. I did, but but we, but we got it out, you know, and we had a fun time. I feel like when you plant plants, it's great when you have great weather and you can take your time. It, it is a great idea. Um, when you can take your time um, is the best. I don't like to rush through things. Like I'll start on, you know, maybe the yard, Come in, wash my hands, make some lunch, eat, sit down for a little bit and go back out later. You know, just like if I'm being rushed, I'm a nervous wreck if I'm being rushed. It ain't fun, right? No sound. What? Is somebody saying no sound? Let me turn this on. I, I just don't believe it. Hold on. I hear you fine, loud and clear, okay. Loud and clear, okay. See? Loud and clear, okay. See? Loud and clear, okay. See? Loud and clear, okay. I hear you, I hear you, okay, yeah, I know. I hear you, I hear you. Okay, ain't nobody. Okay, ain't nobody. Okay, All right, we hear you fine, I have sound, I have sound, thank you, thank you. Thank you. If anybody in here acting nuts, hide the user from the chat. Hide the user completely from the chat because I ain't got time. I ain't got time for silliness. If any trolls is in here. <laughs> I hear you fine. Thank y'all. <laughs> I hear you, Jean. <laughs> the Miss What's Up says my holy king. Uh, Sherelle Hinton says, I know that's right. <laughs> I know that's right, Gina. <laughs> so listen, let, um, um, let me see. Let me see what you're saying. Oh, no. I'm not um, planning to plant fruits and vegetables. Not this year. Say it again. Gina doesn't have time. <laughs> um... I'm not planning on planting fruits and vegetables. Um, not this year, but I do think it would be something great to do. I really do. I really do. Now, remember last year I had mint. I had, um, let's see, out back where the flowers were planted. I killed them off because I didn't want them. When I moved in, the lady had mint she had thyme sage and ro it might have been rosemary out there it was growing like nuts to where it was kind of irritating right i cut it down it grew right back right um so i got rid of it i had it uh killed off 
and then it doesn't grow back anymore. So um, I would love to do a garden, but just not right now. You planted tomato plants in a bucket. How interesting. That's, there's nothing like a fresh tomato, right? Or, or we used to have a green apple tree in the backyard where I grew up. We would take those green apples off the tree, put some salt on it, and it was like the best apples ever, right? If you ever had an apple straight off the tree, a green apple, oh man, that baby tastes good. Oh, you like yellow tomatoes, Mary, okay. Some mangoes, oh my goodness. Mangoes are good. Oh, you said you love the green apples with salt. They were, they are. You have pears, apples, and blueberry grapes and a lot of veggies. Oh, nice. Let's see, what are you saying? Not this chick can't cook screen name. What is it? Let me know what you're saying. I don't understand your message there. Yellow tomatoes and cheese sandwiches are the best. Is that right with mayo and salt? Okay, Geneve says, I can hear you, Gina. Thank you. So my husband was telling me, oh, the screen name is funny. My husband was telling me that, um, cause uh, he, he said something about green to, fried green tomatoes. Like you, you should do a fried green tomato video. I told him, I said, if we can find some, I don't know if, we're, if we can find them. So I'm planning on doing a fried tomato video for you all, but that's only if we can find the tomatoes to make it, you know? Kroger's has them some, okay. Miss Karen said they are fire. I love the sour taste that they have because I feel like they got a sour taste to kind of get you right there. You know how sour stuff gets you right there? Um, but then I like the crunch that they have as well. I, I feel like the last time I made, I feel like the last time I made uh, fried tomatoes, the crust was kind of soggy. Was it because the tomato was just that juicy? My husband devoured them. He loved them. But I thought I wanted it a little bit more crunchy. Maybe the tomato was just that juicy. I don't know. But I'm going to make sure it don't happen next time. You never had fried green tomatoes. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of people saying that. Oh, they're, listen, they're good. So you can't, I've heard of people doing it with the red tomato, but when you use a red tomato, they run, they get too juicy and your crust will be mushy. If you can get the perfect green tomato, you season that baby up and flour it. Some people use cornstarch, fry it. It's got like a crispy to it. And then you bite into this uh, green tomato that's kind of sour. It's good. Oh, see, he said the red, no nasty yuck. <laughs> oh, you got behind on the chat. Okay, okay. Well, I'm glad you're caught back up with us. Oh, on zucchini, fried zucchini. That's a great one. Oh, you bet it is. Yeah, the red is not the same, but you will see some people do it, and it, it's kind of interesting, right? You can't find any. Oh my goodness. I guess it all depends on where, you know, where you're located. Where are you located? You do enjoy the fried green tomatoes, yep. Oh, I I have done, my Holy King says I've done, I've done, um, I have done onion rings. I don't know if I've done fried onions, but I have done onion rings, you know? Let's see. You said interesting. It's not on a fry. It got to be green for you. 
Gina, you have a new channel? Absolutely I do. And the new channel name is Healthy Recipes with Gina. Over there, we're making healthy recipes. Today, I made a keto-friendly fajita stuffed chicken breast that is tantalizing. I'm talking about, talk about some good flavor. Y'all, my husband was smacking his lips and licking his fingers. He was, he was. He was like, and he, he was in the basement when he was eating, and he was like, baby, it's so good. I'm like, thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> the temperature, 68 where you're at? Um, that was just, um, let me show you. That was just um, a setting powder. And this is the loose setting powder. This is triple complex. It's black radiance, but you see the color. This, what this does for me is um, it's translucent, of course, so it goes into your skin and matches the color of your skin. But um, when my face is real oily and I just can't seem to use this to soak up the oil, then I'll, I'll dab this in there and it soaks up the oil for me. Right. But the face powder that I use is MAC. Um, I use NC45 as my color. It's MAC Studio Fix NC45. Yep. And then underneath, there's a, um, a thing underneath if you want to use that. NC45 MAC uh, something studio. <laughs> Welcome this chick can't cook. Is that her name? <laughs> Is that her name? I haven't seen her name on here. I see you guys talking about it. Welcome to the channel. I tell you what, if you stick with me, I'm going to show you how to cook and then you're going to have to change your name. You're, listen, if you stick with Gina, if you just stick with me long enough, I'm going to show you how to cook and you're going to have to change that name. <laughs> I'm so serious. I'm laughing, but I'm serious because I can make you a whole cook. At least I think I can. But you got to be willing to learn too, you know. <laughs> Thank you, Kat. <laughs> Six bells. Thank you. How you doing? Thank you for coming in and joining Okay, so Ron says, I guarantee she'll teach you how to cook. <laughs> no. Y'all, it's beautiful outside. Scott, how you doing today? I actually love friend half ripe tomatoes. Not green, not red. Salt, pe Ooh, salt pepper, flour, egg. Cornmeal, then fry them. I love your channel. Thank you. I appreciate you coming in, Scott. I'm so happy to have you here today. <laughs> My holy king, you stop. <laughs> Gina's an iron chef. <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> Fried. Okay, Scott. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Erica says, if you can't cook, Gina say you're going to learn today. <laughs> I did. I said you're going to learn today. <laughs> Y'all, I love teaching the world how to cook. I'm so serious. Thank y'all for welcoming Scott. I tell you what, the recipe was so stinking easy. Delicious. Now, when you go, did anybody see the new color purple? Oh, there's a new color purple? Are you kidding me? Hold on, let me see. No. That's Saj the saying that. It, here's the thing. It better be as good as, if it's not as good as, I'm going to be all upset. You know, because I love the first movies. I feel like some movies, you don't have to make a second one. So if they have a second one, I'm definitely going to watch it. <laughs> Mary Jane said, they always mess up something good. <laughs> I know, y'all, sometimes the book, some, sometimes a book of something will be so good, I feel like, don't make it into a movie. 
The book was so good and I could just picture the visual. I could just imagine everything that's going on in the book. Like it, it helps your imagination grow when you're reading a book. And then they make a movie and I'm like, I'm not happy. <laughs> I'm not happy with that movie, you know. <laughs> So Mary says, yes, Gina, books are better. <laughs> okay, you said, the miss says, I'm stuck on Whoopi B and Seeley. I don't know nothing. To, oh, okay, that's so funny. Gina, start a book club. That would be interesting because the first book I would tell you all to read is The Shack. I don't know why nobody read that book. The book is the best. The book is the best. It's the best book. I, I, I would tell the whole world if I could. If I could, I would tell the whole world. Yeah, y'all, my hair is a mess. If I could, I would tell the whole world to read the book, The Shack. You would not be let down by that book. Why don't you write a fictional book, a drama or a mystery? It, it would be nice. It would be nice. I can't even get a cookbook done yet. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so busy. I I'm trying to, right? I want to get it done. <laughs> I'm just busy. I so I can't even think of a mystery right now, a mystery book. But it, on a serious note, it would be fun to do. Oh, it would be fun to do. You smell cup. Oh, that's so funny, Ron. It's way better than the movie, more detail, see? My Holy King said, definitely fun. Gina, I'll be honest, I know, oh, there we go. Let me get on you. No, uh, you said, I must get back to it, but it is good. Okay, so that's Mildred. And Mildred is saying that she started the book, um, but she never finished it. But she's saying it was good though. I guess she got to jump back in it. Here's the thing, I totally understand starting something and then you know not finishing through with it i i understand you know i i do i understand but i tell you what once you read it you're gonna say oh is that right Haley bailey plays nettie is that right how interesting she said a man at your back way ain't nobody back there but I tell you what, I don't know where the do where's the dogs at? Come here, get in here, get in here. What are y'all doing? <laughs> they at the back door. Oh, I know what it is. The alarm keeps going off, saying somebody is there's a person. The alarm keeps going off, saying there's a let me let me see, saying that there's a person in the driveway. But I know it's my neighbor because he's cutting the grass. So they think my husband is here because the alarm keeps going off. Hold on. Yeah, I think my neighbor is cutting the grass. Yep. And the dogs is like, my, that's my dad. The dogs think that's my husband out there. <laughs> okay, sweetie pie. Hold on. They they're barking because I, I just locked the door. I just locked the front door from the phone. It's okay. Nobody's here. <laughs> no, you don't, Christopher. Ain't no way. <laughs> oh, it was on Netflix? Oh, Mildred said, is it on Netflix? Oh, Alyssa says, I love the book, The Shack. I just need to finish it. Thank you for suggesting it. Okay. Oh, you're very welcome. Okay. You're very welcome. Uh, yeah, let me know if you finish it. Let me know if you finish it. How many of you... Mildred is just a trailer come now. Oh, you just seen the trailer. Okay. Yes, it is by William Young. Mm -hmm. Oh, Taraji is playing. I'm going to have to look up the trailer. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, can I do it here? 
Um, okay, let me see if I can do it on my computer. You said you will, you promise. Okay, trailer for... Y'all, I be jamming on this computer. I told Dakota I can definitely type 100 words a minute. He like, no, you can't. Yes, I can. <laughs> I told him I can't. Oh, I see it. Saj, or what, who was it Saj that was saying that? I see it. So the color purple official trailer. Y'all, I got to watch it. I have to watch it. Oh, this is gonna be great. It's, it's by Warner Brothers Pictures. Why does it look like the same one? Am I allowed to show y'all this? You said show us, Gina. Uh, I want, cause I, I'd be afraid to use other people's content. Cause I wanna make sure I'm following all the rules. You know, like I can show you a picture like of a baby doll and, st and like steal stuff. But I don't know if I can show you their video that's playing. Right? So all you all I've typed in, I typed in trailer for color purple. There is a trailer that is it's two minutes and twenty-two seconds. It looks like it's gonna be so good. It looks like, like what they was just doing in here, they was holding hands. You know how the sisters will hold hands? And she was teaching her how to read. You remember she was like stocking, S-T-O, you, you know? Remember? Okay, so it looked like they was doing that. They was holding hands. Um, this could be great. If it ain't great, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> I'll be so mad. I'm going to have to watch it. And here's the thing. If we all watch it, we would definitely have to uh, talk about it after watching it. When is it going to come on, Saj? Look it up. Oh, you'll look it up after you get off. Okay. Oh, Dakota. Dakota, what's your school balance? I just got an email that said that your school uh, lunch balance is low. What should I put on there? How much should I put on? We only have two days left. Just I know. What, how much you want on there? Like ten. Not even that. Okay. So how how much is your lunch tomorrow? Well, lunch is like four dollars. So just just let me put ten dollars. Okay, cause school is out Wednesday, right? Your last day is Wednesday. All right. That's crazy. Well, oh, he just said that's crazy. He went like this. That's crazy. He don't want school to end, y'all. He is loving it so much. I am. You are. You loving it. But like I told him, y'all, I'm gonna tell you right in front of everybody. Come here. I'm coming back. He coming back. Tell me I'm coming back. Um. You have good news, Penny. Okay. What's your good news? He, he loves it. No, we can't put that I'm on there. I'm not show it. I'm okay. Saying. Okay, what is that? Oh, you got people's signature. He's got people's signature. And their... In the yearbook. Oh, and their phone numbers. See, that's nice. Now, listen. I told Dakota because y'all um, y'all know he's new to this school. He's new to this neighborhood. And he didn't hardly know anybody before we came here where we live now. I told him, I said, get people's phone numbers. Get people's phone numbers so you can communicate with them throughout the summer. But what was Dakota? Here's what Dakota said. I'll see them next year. How you, I don't understand how you love your friends so much you don't want school to end, but you'll see them next year. Get their phone numbers. Do y'all agree? Get their phone numbers and you can see them throughout the summer. Okay? Mm -hmm. What? So somebody said, In purple. oh, he said play football next year. You will have fun. Okay. <laughs> <a dancer>. See? <laughs> 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 
But, but yeah, Dakota, you got to get their phone number so you can keep up with people and keep them as friends, you know? I'm not saying that the phone number is going to keep y'all friends, but what I'm saying is you, you don't want to have a summer without nobody's phone number, right? Right? Yes or no? Okay, well. <laughs> and that food was amazing. <laughs> what food was amazing? Hold on. Can you say that again so the people in the background can hear? You better say it loud. Say it again. Tell me what you're talking about first. Tell the people what you're talking about. The taco pasta. The taco pasta was what? It was amazing. It's, uh, they can't hear you. <laughs> it was amazing. He said it was amazing. Now, what about what about the keto? Oh, that chicken. I was about to eat the entire thing. What about the keto stuffed chicken breast? Tell the people. I ain't even looking at him, y'all. Y'all, she had to stop me from eating. That. He said she had to stop me from eating. I was about to eat the entire chicken. He was about to eat the whole entire chicken. I wasn't about to get done. <laughs> I heard Dakota. <laughs> okay, that's great. Okay, so tell me what you're getting ready to do. The, Dakota, he is. He going in. Y'all, they laughing. Let me see. Let me see. Add a membership button to your YouTube. Okay, the Miss, tell me why you want me to add a membership to the channel. The other, Geneva, the other channel is Healthy Recipes with Gina. Healthy Recipes with Gina. All healthy foods over there. All healthy foods over there. If you go to the banner and press the bottom, if you go to this banner that we're on right now in the kitchen with Gina Young and you press the bottom right where it says um, new channel, second channel, you can press it. It'll take you, you know, right to the new channel here on YouTube. Or you can just put healthy recipes with Gina. Okay. I I'm getting busy over there. I'm getting busy over here. We're gonna be going live over there. We're gonna be going live over here. <laughs> you woke up from napping. Derek, how you doing? Woo, chill. <laughs> and I'm doing two videos tomorrow, y'all. I'm doing two videos tomorrow, and those videos will be, I think, for this channel. I, I, I don't even know what I'm doing tomorrow. <laughs> they look delicious, Beth. Absolutely. Thank you, Sonya. Wanda McMorris, how you doing today? Oh, you had a headache. That's one of the worst things. I, I like 70s movies. You bet I do. You, you bet I do. I'm getting so sleepy. I'm on, oh my goodness. I'm sorry, Beth. I hope you can get some rest. Hi, Wanda. I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay, y'all. I'm doing okay, Wanda. I'm, I'm just happy to do this with you guys. I'm really enjoying myself. So now, I, I need to figure out... Let me just tell you what my plans is for uh, uh, Wednesday. Let me just tell you. So Wednesday, I'm going live, right? Congratulations to Renee, I think. I don't know what y'all are talking about, but congratulations. Um, tell me what, what Renee has going on, y'all. Let me see. Yeah, I done forgot what I was talking about. My goodness. Let's see, Renee. Okay, Renee, where are you, honey? Renee, hey Gina, my friends, my grandson made the aunt. Yes! Oh, he's autistic. That's great. And he's super smart. That is absolutely amazing. Do me a favor. Give him a big hug for me. Yes, and tell him I am so proud of him. Absolutely. Oh. Your grandson made the honor roll. I love it. 
I love it. You give him a big hug for me. Absolutely, and tell him how proud I am of him. Absolutely, yes. There is a lady um, on YouTube that does YouTube shorts. I think they may do videos too, but I watch her and her autistic um, son. They do dancing videos and I just totally love their channel. I mean, he will be on there dancing with her and they're having such a good time. And it's so nice to see him smiling and loving those dance moves. So um, it, it's just a great channel. And when I see a video from them, I try to comment and say something. And um, she, she usually comments back, you know, and gives me the heart, let me know that she's seen the message. But um, y'all, we have to love on our autistic family members friends and loved ones absolutely and and they are smart you know they they have some challenges but they are smart absolutely and i just love to hear that so thank you for sharing that with me <laughs> that's great renee yes yes oh i love it renee welcome to my channel <laughs> yes, absolutely purple love. Uh-huh. Yes, Sonia, absolutely. Oh, Renee, you're so welcome. Thank you for coming in and joining us. We appreciate having you here. Come in anytime. <laughs> oh, you do, Beth. That's great, the honor roll. Isn't that amazing? You do, you love this chat room. Oh, that's great. Thank you for coming in. Listen, on uh, Mondays at 5 p.m., I'm gonna always be going live unless I put out, you know, like a community post saying, hey, I can't do it today, you know. On Mondays, five o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Wednesday, five o'clock, Eastern Standard Time. And Saturdays is always 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Always cooking up something different. You know, I'll always put a community post. Thank you, Geneva. I'll always put a community post up saying what I'm gonna be making. I put the ingredients in the community post and then we cook together. Today was a quick, easy, simple day, you know. But, um, what I was getting ready to say is, here's what I wanna do on Wednesday, y'all. Yeah, Drew says, what we doing on Wednesday? I wanna show y'all how to make delicious, the delicious, famous, Egg Foo Young. How many of y'all are for it? Geneva, oh, oh thank you, Sonia. Are y'all for it? Are you all for it? Egg Foo Young. You may have never in your life heard of it, right? Okay, people are saying yes. You may have never heard of it. It is delicious. It is yet. It's simple. Egg, egg boo young. <laughs> you know it's egg foo young. Uh, you don't like it, my goodness. I love it, y'all. Hold on, let me put this on the charger. Oh, okay. Um, Dakota, um, it is cost effective, ain't gonna cost you, here, plug this in, we gonna lose the people if we don't put this in the charger. It's cost effective, don't cost a lot to make. You can make as many as you want for your family, and guess what, the leftovers is amazing. You know how you can make something sometimes, right? Check me out. You can make something sometimes and then later you go back to taste and it's like, I don't want it unless it's fresh. Egg Foo Young is not like that. You can make it in the morning time and for dinner you can eat it and it's going to be just as good. So I will be posting tomorrow. I, I might do it tonight if I have time. 
I'll be posting what it is, all of the ingredients you're going to need um, to make it with me. It's, and then we make a, a, um, a chicken gravy that's made out of simple corn starch and chicken broth and a little bit of garlic powder, okay? So the gravy is not a gravy that people usually struggle with. We're just gonna use chicken broth, okay? Um, some garlic powder and some corn starch slurry to make up a beautiful gravy, right? You pour it over top of your egg foo young and you have a, it's astonishing. <laughs> it's so good and here's the thing. You know how I tell y'all I'm not a fan of eggs? Oh, I'll tear the egg foo young up. I will tear it up, that's how good it is. Okay, let me see, let me see what's happening here. Yes, I was, I was tired Saturday, I still came through, cause I love y'all, I do. Let's see, let's see, they're laughing at Sonya, let me see what Sonya is saying, let me find. What is the egg doing, karate? It sounds like the egg is sneezing. A <laughs> A <laughs> right, but I, I tell you what, it's so good. Ooh, Sonia, have you ever had it? I can make stuffed cabbage. I'll have to do that for you. Okay, let me see, on Netflix, and it's good. Okay, I'll, I'll check it out. Okay, Mildred. Oh, yeah, I'll check it out. Ha Sonia, have you ever had it? So, um, when you make it, when you make egg foo young. Hold on, I lost the messages. Okay. Ain't got no cat in it. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Um, you said, oh, Shakira, I'll, I'll definitely make it. Um, when you make egg foo young, so ain't no cat, Renee, don't y'all do that to me. <laughs> um, so listen, I keep losing my thought. This is so funny because I'll read a message and then I totally forgot everything I was going to say. Oh, frozen vegetables. Okay. Don't ever try to make egg foo young. I ain't looking at the mess. I ain't going to look at the messages. Because I'm going to forget everything I want to say. I, I, I ain't even looking. <laughs> um, you're going to need eggs. You're going to need some cooking oil. Any kind of cooking oil you want to use. You don't need a lot. Literally, you're just going to coat the bottom of the pan, right? You're going to use onions. Only if you like onions. And a bag of frozen vegetables. When I say a bag of frozen vegetables, what I'm asking you all to get is the vegetables that has... The peas, the carrots, the corn, and the green beans. <clears throat> Let's just say you're the person that says, Gina, I don't like that. I don't like that frozen bag. Okay. Well, you turn around and you get the frozen bag of just peas and carrots. Okay. Or if you say, I don't like that. Well, you just get a bag of frozen corn. Because <laughs> people do that to me. <laughs> do you don't like it. I, I ain't, so I ain't going to make it. That's what they say to me. <laughs> I'm like, well, just don't put, don't, don't put the vegetables in there. <laughs> but you're going to need eggs, a bag of frozen vegetables, onions if you want. Um, you're going to need the chicken broth, some garlic powder, and some cornstarch. Yeah. Now, I serve it over rice. You can absolutely use a brown rice to serve it over. You put your egg foo young on top of the rice, and then you pour that chicken gravy over it. Y'all. Yeah. Talk about, I'm going to turn your taste buds off. I'm going to have everybody in this comment section flipping their socks off because they're so excited about the recipe. <laughs> duck foo young. <laughs> Ain't no duck foo young. <laughs> yes. Okay, so y'all can't wait. Okay, this is great. This is great. So that's what I'm doing on Wednesday. Okay, and then when it comes to Saturday, I don't know what I'm making, but whatever it is, it's going to be good. Maybe it'll be something simple uh, or not simple. Maybe it'll be something like a fried chicken dinner. 
You know, it, it's been a while since I made a chicken dinner and y'all, not a duck. Not a duck, ain't no way. <laughs> um, maybe Saturday I'll do something like a fried chicken dinner and yeah, cause y'all love watching me fry chicken. Um, but we'll just see. Whatever it is, I'll put in the community post. Make sure, it, it does, it sounds good. Okay, 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 that's great. Okay, people are saying, yeah, fried chicken. Okay, yes, mi uh, Valencia, mixed bag of frozen vegetables. Have you, get you some eggs. And also, uh, when you're making the egg food, I'm gonna start doing this. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna start doing this so I don't read no comments when I'm talking, so I can remember. I'm gonna start doing this. When you're making the egg foo young, <laughs> if you want to use meat, you can. <laughs> if you want to put shrimp in there, you can, on a serious note. Um, if you want to use, like, ham pieces, you can. If you got, like, some turkey lunch meat or some type of lunch meat that you absolutely love, heck yeah, you could chop it up and put it in there. Or you could just do, use the vegetable. And I just have to honestly say, this on an honest note, they all are good. No matter if you put meat, if you don't want to put meat, no matter how you make it, it's going to be good, especially if you make a Gina Young style. Okay? What kind of egg foo young? Okay, my egg foo young is going to consist of the vegetables, and I'm going to put the little ham cubes in it. You don't have to use the ham cubes, like Mildred, for example. If she makes her, she can leave the ham cubes out, but if she got, like, turkey lunch meat, or if she want to put shrimp in there, chicken, whatever. You might have some, can some canned chicken or something you want to put in there. Put what you want. If you don't want no meat, just put the veggies, okay? People love duck. Hey, they, yeah, I see they do, my holy king. <laughs> can you make oxtails? Let me see. Simple way. All them ingredients I see people using. Okay, okay, okay. Here's the thing, Shak Shakiria. Um, the the re goose. <laughs> we got so many goose back here, geese back here. Um, can I make, her question is, can I make an oxtail for you all? Oxtail isn't something that I would like to do on a live. Guess why? It's because it takes a long time to cook, right? We all love oxtails, but it takes so stinking long to cook. And you said, can we make it without all of those ingredients? I feel like the proper way to make oxtails is to use all those, all those ingredients. And really, on a, on a serious note, um, th I'm serious. On a serious note, um, when you make yours, if you don't wanna use all of those vegetables that we use, um, you could still enjoy it. I see you said it looks like they used the whole supermarket to make it. Those vegetables, I promise you, those vegetables give the oxtail so much flavor. When you decide to put the onions and the bell peppers and the fresh garlic, that stuff breaks down. It puts flavor into the oxtails. It stews and it makes for an amazing oxtail. Now, if you ever wanted to cook oxtails with me and you don't wanna use that stuff, just take out what you don't want to use, right? And use what you want to use. Let's just say you said, Gina, I just want to make them and I just want to use onions. Well, I would suggest to you, use onions and garlic to give it some flavor. Leave all that other stuff out so you can enjoy the recipe, okay? But just know it ain't gonna taste exactly like mine's was. You know, exactly like mine's would, okay? No, I'm not gonna make it on the live because it takes too long. Yeah, it, it, it does, it does, it, it takes way too long. So I, I just couldn't do it on live. No, I couldn't. Scotch bonnet pepper in time. That is definitely how Haitian, um, and Haitian makes it that way. And I'd like to say Jamaican makes it that way, absolutely. I, I know all about it. 
I know all about it, absolutely. Uh-uh. Is that what Little Bit said? Ain't no way. <laughs> yeah, you could do it in a pressure cooker. <laughs> Derek, you funny. I, I see you could do it in a pressure cooker, but I'd like to say if we were to put it in the pressure cooker, you could. You could put it into the pressure cooker, but I'm not going to do oxtails on a live. I'm just not. I'm, uh, some people have a hard time, <laughs> like, like um, understanding that it takes at least an hour to cook, you know, over an hour to cook lasagna. So just trying to keep that crowd going while, while the food's in the oven is hard sometimes. <laughs> it's like, y'all promise the food's going to be done soon, you know. <laughs> Who came up with those? I know, Derek. I do too, Saj. I do too, Saj. I love a good game. What kind of game? Oh, you said they'll cook very fast in a pressure cooker. Yeah. Oh, is it right? That's interesting. You said you could put Vicks Vapor Rub to keep the squirrels out of your flowers. Is that right? I don't really, I don't think I've had an issue with squirrels um, in my flowers. I don't believe I have. Um, but before I say that, I'd like to see how my flowers go in the back because that's where we would normally see uh, squirrels, like where, you know, the little forest is back there. So um, maybe the dishwashing liquid that I put on my flowers will help keep them away. <laughs> oh, ain't no way. Oh, rabbits too. We got a lot of rabbits. But they say that the marigolds um, have a smell that will keep rabbits away. So I'm praying. I'm praying that, that it works. Mint works. Oh, okay. Listen, I hope y'all enjoyed, enjoyed, enjoyed the time here with me today. I can't wait to see y'all on Wednesday. I'm going to do the community post, <clears throat> excuse me, for um, Wednesday. I'll do it either tonight or, or it's, I have to do it tomorrow. Saying just the reminder that we're making egg foo young. I put all the ingredients. Y'all run out and grab your ingredients. You're going to want to make it. It's going to be delicious. I, you know, I really would love to make that on a Saturday. I feel like it would be a huge turnout. But we'll do it Wednesday, and maybe we'll fry chicken on Saturday, okay? I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. I ain't getting off of here without a big old hug. Give me a hug, y'all. I love you so much. Thank y'all for coming in and joining me today. I love you. Thank you, Renee, for sharing that with me. Give your grandson a big hug for me and tell him I'm proud of him. And um, thank you to the moderators. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you for my current subscribers, the old and the new subscribers. I love y'all so much and I can't wait to see you on Wednesday, okay? I love you, I love you, I love you. I'm going to take my socks and my shoes off I'm going to sit in the front because the, the front is where the sun is right now. There's no sun in the back. Um, in the evenings, I get sun in the front. I'm going to take my shoes off. I'm going to sit in the chair on the porch. I'm just going to relax. I'm probably going to take me some ice cold water out there. I'll take the babies out there with me, and they'll sit on the porch. And uh, you're new, Jenny O. Welcome in. I'll see you, Jenny L. Jenny L, you come into my live on Wednesday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to be showing you all how to cook something delicious. Welcome, Jenny L. God bless you all. Have a great night. I'll see you all on Wednesday. And tomorrow you'll see me making recipes for this channel. Okay, I love you so much. God bless each and every one of you. 
I'll see you later, okay? I am, oh, <laughs> I'm getting off, y'all. I love you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>